Hi everybody, uh, this has been a very exciting ASCO 2024, especially for the lung cancer community, as many have heard in the news. We have at least three major presentations that have a tremendous impact in all patients. The first one uh, was the study called CROWN uh, with the drug uh, Lorlatinib. Uh, we were familiar with this uh, drug because it was already FDA approved a couple of years ago when they show uh, they, they can increase progression-free survival compared with the standard of care that was and before that crisotinib. However, uh, in this meeting, we are presenting the five-year data of progression-free survival, and it's amazing that after five years, we still have more than half of the patients responding to the drug. That is something unheard uh, for ALK-positive uh, uh, patients. Uh, you know, the standard of care that is alectinib or brigatinib usually have a progression-free survival of three years. That it, it was also a major advance at that time when we made these drugs standard of care. But now having an agent that can have five years or more as a progression-free survival is amazing. As you can understand, we haven't reached the progression-free survival. We have not even reached the survival. That's why we are very, very happy. We are very excited for our patients that maybe now they have the opportunity to have a treatment that can really cause a major impact in their survival. And uh, the only thing is we need to get familiar with the side effects. Uh, we know Lorlatinib uh, is the strongest of all the TKIs for ALK, but also has uh, particular toxicities like a high cholesterol and toxicities that we're not very familiar as uh, cancer doctors. But I think uh, this is a drug that is going to benefit the patients uh, tremendously. Um, I think uh, the fact that the toxicities like, again, like the high cholesterol, the increase of the liver function test, uh, changes in the mood, uh, paresthesias, uh, should not uh, preclude us to give the best treatment for the patients. The other uh, important presentation that I want to mention is a study called uh, Andriatic, like the ocean. This is a very important study because our standard of care uh, for a small cell lung cancer limited stage, no, contained uh, small cell lung cancer is chemo radiation. It's the same standard of care for close to 30 years with no progress. To have something finally progressing in that field is amazing for us. And in this case, uh, the patients were randomized to have the standard of care, or after the chemo radiation, they receive immunotherapy with durvalumab. And the results are astonishing. You know, doctor, uh, you, you were presented, uh, and uh, basically the, the results are showing that um, the survival, if we add immunotherapy, can go from the standard survival after chemo radiation 33 months to 55 months. So we can increase the overall survival 22 months. 22 months is close to two years. In other words, if you give the patient with small cell lung cancer after chemo radiation immunotherapy, now the patient may be able to be alive for two more years. So that's why it is amazing, exciting for us in the lung cancer community and the toxicity profile it's not a big deal. We are very familiar with checkpoint inhibitors. We use these drugs all the time now in, the, in lung cancer. So I think uh, that's a very happy also for our patients. Finally, the third presentation that I think is very important is the st study called LORA. Uh, in this study, uh, the standard of care for non-small cell lung cancer in stage three and resectable is to have, again, chemo radiation. And these patients have the genetic alteration, the EFR mutation. So instead to give them immunotherapy that we discover that is not good for them and they don't benefit, now the patients are getting osimertinib. And thanks to that, uh, the progression-free survival has increased tremendously from six months, you know, with chemo radiation, but 6.9 months to 39 months. So the benefit is 84%. The hazard ratio is 0.16. That is a very, very low number. That's why it's very exciting for us because the patients are benefiting tremendously of this intervention, adding osimertinib after chemo radiation for in, in, in resectable stage three if you have uh, the mutation EGFR. We knew a little bit about this. We can infer these results, but it's nice that finally we have 
corroboration that these results are true and the patients are going to, all of these three things that I mentioned today are becoming now the new standards of care for lung cancer, uh, thanks to the presentations in this meeting. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.